Hello, uh, this is an experiment I wanted to do to find out uh, how much effort or how much weight is required to uh, support a violin using a shoulder rest. So it's a full size 4 4 violin with a uh, standard shoulder rest on there. Um, and I just wanted to see. Uh, you know, the shoulder rest is a wonderful invention. Uh, it really when you're using one, there's, there's no need to support the neck of the violin with your left hand, uh, but you don't get something for nothing. You, uh, the, this weight needs to be supported somehow, and when you're using a shoulder rest, it is, uh, it is a lever arm. So you can see that the lever is this long, and the shoulder rest is the fulcrum, and then the, the weight supported is over here, which is provided by your, your head and neck. So I wanted to find out, well, how much, how much is that? Um, so I wanted to find something uh, non-destructive in case it fell over. Uh, so I'm using uh, one pound boxes of baking soda here. So let, let's find out how much, how much weight does it require to, to take the, to support the, the neck of the violin. So there's one pound. Two pounds, three pounds, still not staying, three pounds, four pounds. Now four pounds, okay, so four pounds, we're, we're right now, we're at the, we're at the tipping point. So if, depending on which way this, the, the seesaw goes, so about four pounds for this particular setup, uh, we'll, we'll hold it up. Now, the thing is, is this, this is not uh, exactly the playing condition because our left hand interacts down here with the strings to be able to, to play the instrument. So to depress the string to the fingerboard to get like a clear note, we are adding more weight down here on this lever arm. And let's see what, what that does. So we have four pounds on there now. So if we add another five, another pound of that, so a total of five pounds. Well, obviously that supports that. But if I have my finger here on the D string, uh, so E on the D string, I, I, I can't press this down to get to the fingerboard um, without counteracting that. So there's at least five pounds of force when you, when you try to uh, press down here. Now, of course, when you're playing, there's some counteracting force on your left hand here, but what, what I'm trying to show here is that uh, there's a significant amount of downward force required when using a shoulder rest, and I think that's why some people have uh, issues with pain or discomfort when using a shoulder rest is because uh, your neck is designed to hold your, let's say, your 10-pound head up, and when it's then asked to... <laughs> supply five, four or five pounds of downward pressure to one side, I think that's why uh, some people uh, find it uh, uncomfortable. Now, if you play without a shoulder rest, then the, uh, the weight is evenly distributed between the two ends. So let's say, let's say, I don't know, a violin probably weighs two pounds, right? So by simple physics, if you're supporting it at two points, where, which would be by your clavicle at this end and your left hand on this end, each, uh, each part is only supporting one pound. So one pound is resting on your sh shoulder, or rather your clavicle, and one pound is on your left hand there. So that's my experiment for today. Thank you.